Welcome to Undisputed. We are live from Los Angeles. I'm Alex Curry here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Skip, I know you got to be feeling good today. No, he picked against the Cowboys. He can't be feeling good. <laughs> Come on. You Come picked on. against them. Come on. Just, just say it with me. Help! Not them Cowboys! You picked against them! We are back, baby. Eight and four and in control of the NFC least. I'll Did you not pick least. against them? No, I did not change my pick. No, no, no I did not. In mid-show, what did we hear? Camaro was out, and I said, if Camaro's out, I'm swapping back. I'm going with the Cowboys. Camara. Did I not do that? Did, did we not redo our picks? Camaro could have been the in. Show? So don't lie to the American public about it. You picked it. I picked the <laughs> Dallas Cowboys to win. They still bums. 23 to 20. <laughs> yep. Bums have, and in first place. We're first place bums. Yeah. I will give you that. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, now we agree on yeah. something. It's probably the last time we go to agree right, this here show. We go. <laughs> All right, well, let's get right to it because Skip's Cowboys snapped their two game skid by taking care of the Saints yesterday, 27 to 17. Dak threw for 238 yards and a touchdown, but the offense still had an uneven performance. Luckily, Dan Quinn's defense stole the show by sacking Taysom Hill twice and intercepting him four times, including a pick six to ice the game game in the fourth quarter. So Shannon, on a scale of one to 10, how impressive were the Cowboys? I gave them a three because I, I think they beat a very bad team. And we've seen this over the last several weeks, Skip. This team is getting worse and worse. And um, Sean Payton tried to insert Taysom Hill. And I told you, Taysom Hill is not a quarterback. Anybody that thinks Taysom Hill is going to take this team anywhere at the quarterback position, they're fooling themselves. Sean Payton is fooling himself. Sean Payton, as great a mind as he has at designing plays, he cannot create what needs to be created with Taysom Hill. First of all, he's too muscle-bound. Second of all, that three-quarter throw in motion, it's not going to work in the NFL. And he doesn't throw people open. Mm. They have to get open. Sean Payton has to design the perfect play where guys get picked off and you get uh, uh, the, the guy Humphrey, Lil John Humphrey, mm -hmm. running wide. Jordan. Lil yeah. Jordan, Lil yeah. Jordan, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Lil Jordan Humphrey, running wide open. Guys, have they have to create it. As far as him throwing the ball into a tight window or throwing with anticipation, getting guys open, that's not what he is. Now, we saw him injure that finger. It seemed like he had a very similar injury to one Russell Wilson suffered against the Rams. Now, if you notice, Pete Carroll took Russell Wilson out of the game. I don't think anybody that watched that game at home thought Taysom Hill <laughs> is comparable to Russell Wilson. Mm. Russell Wilson had that injury, missed, what, three weeks, if I'm not mistaken, came back and hasn't looked the same. Well, he had surgery on it. Thank you. He had a torn tendon in his finger. He had throwing hand. Has yes. he looked the same since he's been no, back? No, he has okay, not. Okay, so we're going to leave Taysom Hill, who's a jack, really trying to masquerade as a quarterback, look like the same injury but you're going to leave him in and says, okay, he can do it. Did you see the ball tailing away? As a matter of fact, we got some tape. Hey, mm. let, let's get that tape. Let's get the tape mm. out. This is it. This, this, is, this is the... What is, Skip, what is that? Mm. That, that? That's Taysom Hill. And now you want me, you wanted me to give your guys a good grade here. Look at this. What, what did he... Really? Ta yeah. Trayvon Diggs won't get an easy interception. Mm. Look at this. Now, you do realize the guys in the blue shirt, they're your enemies. You don't throw the ball to them. But that's what he did. What, what is, I, I, hey, here you go. Come on. I'm going to give you. What is that? What is that? That's, that's awful. Mm. That was awful last night. And so, for me, I, 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 that's, what, that's why I gave him a, score, uh, a bad score, Skip. They played against a very, very... He's a, he's a great all-around player, but he shouldn't try to play quarterback. Mm. And offensively, Skip, as Alec AC said in the read, they had a very up-and-down performance. I thought Dak got off to it. Dak was throwing the ball well. Guys made great catches, but the uh, the, the, uh, the shot that he hit CD over the middle, Skip, as soon as CD head got around, the ball was stuck to his chest. The one he hit Amari over the middle, that Amari liked to get up out of there. He hit two to Michael Gallup. Now, I'm going to say Michael Gallup made some great catches because Dak put the ball with, but... Those were throws that they were the only place they could be thrown where uh, Michael Gallup could catch it, get his feet down. But then all of a sudden, if something happened, it's just like Dak started spraying the ball all over mm -hmm. in that interception. Mm -hmm. So, and they didn't run the ball. They had the one big run by Tony Pollard, Skip. He broke away. But other than that, Skip, you mm -hmm. talk about, and you love to do it. You tell me this all the time. Well, if you average it up, they had 23 carries for like 90 yards. That's really not good. But... Uh, and look, I'm going I'm to I'm say this. They won the ball game. I think now they have a two-and-a-half, three-game lead in that division, which we thought they would do. But I wasn't impressive. Defense took advantage of a bad quarterback. 
uh, uh, playing last night, got four interceptions, three on cons um, three consecutive possessions, mm -hmm. and a pick six. So give those guys credit. They did what they did what they needed to do on a Thursday night, mm -hmm. but that wasn't an outstanding performance from by me. If I look at it, it was not. Okay, it is my turn, and I always tell you, if not warn you, I am an objective Cowboy fan. I know that can be an oxymoron for some people, <laughs> but I, I'm often a harshly objective Cowboy fan because I thought so much of my football team going into this year. Okay. I told you 12 and 5. At one point when they got to 6 and 1, I said, "Hey, I'm looking at 13 and 4." Right. So, I'm going to judge them on that kind of curve right. from what I saw last night. So, scale of 1 to 10 for me last night, how impressed was I with what I saw in the end? I am a two. I am below you. You are a three. I am only wow. a two. I'm surprised. But my biggest takeaway from last night which I opened the show with, was all I care about. In the end, they won that game. They did. By hook or crook, by however you want to explain it or, or explain it away. Okay. How, however you want to, to disqualify it, you can disqualify away, but you can't disqualify eight and four. Right. So all I know is... They took care of business, right. not impressively, but the scoreboard in the end said 27 for Dallas and 17 for the home team. Correct. And as many debacles, disasters as we have suffered in that building before, once upon a time when our man, um, what, what's his name, uh, Rob Ryan right, was right. the defensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Remember when oh, yeah. Drew Brees broke the completion record? Oh yeah, night? they had like 40 first downs oh, in that game. It was just terrible. <laughs> yeah, like, like that, that's how humiliated I've been yeah. watching my team play in that building. Right. 27-17, after the last time we saw Dak when he lost 12-10 to 10 to Teddy Bridgewater, I will take it. Have you lost that game last night, Skip? You'd have jumped off the bat. If I, they I, lost as bad as New Orleans was playing, if you lose that game to them, you'd have been done with the Cowboys for this year. What, what did you say? I would have jumped out of what? You, you'd have jumped off the bandwagon. You'd no, jumped, I, I was going to say I would have jumped out the window, <laughs> and I'm on the third floor, so I, I, I would have jumped out the you window. You might have broken something, so I, don't I, do I that. Walk downstairs to Yale. That, that is correct. <laughs> Okay, what did I see last night? Big picture. As soon as I heard just before the game, for sure, that uh, number one, Alvin Kamara out. Yeah. He is the best dual purpose back in the league. He's made the Pro Bowl all four of his years. Yeah. If you take him away from Taysom Hill, Taysom Hill's gonna have a long night right. to start with. Both tackles, right at game time, are ruled out. They had played in the previous game, and Teron Armstead has made three straight Pro Bowls, mm -hmm. and Ramsick on the other side made first-team All-Pro in 2019, and both the tackles are ruled out. Yes. Obviously, Michael Thomas hasn't played all year, so that's a huge playmaker you're missing Correct. from the receiving mm -hmm. core, right? Yes. So help me out here. Given the degree of difficulty against that offense, shouldn't you win that game? Yo, yeah, absolutely. Yes, you should. Like, yeah. like it's just a duh to yeah. me. It's just yeah. like you have to, if, if you're any good at all, right. if you're even worthy of winning the NFC least, you have to win that game last night. Right. So how did they win it? Well, guess what my team was? My team's been pretty good on third down through the year, right? Yes. My team, if you throw in the one miss on fourth down, was two of 14 yeah, on third were, and fourth down. That is horrendously they bad. Were, they were bad. Two of 14, are you kidding me? And then we get back to run or pass, run or pass. What happened last night? Well, they had to pass, 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 crazy pass because they couldn't really run a lick. <laughs> they couldn't. Because if you look hard at what happened last night, Tony Pollard got loose as he is highly capable of getting loose. And, and he's got a gear, it is like most cars are like five speeds. He's got a six <laughs> speed, right? Yeah. If he gets going, we just saw him obviously on Thanksgiving go 100 yards with the kickoff he went 58 yards last night and then a backward pass to cd he goes for 33 right. yards because he can really run it after catch so that's right? 91 on two of your carries 91 on two carries that left 22 other carries for a grand total of 55 <laughs> yards that's 2.5 per try yeah. so i had to sit last night and watch 22 tries of running the football that averaged 2.5 yards per carry that's a lot of carries yeah. 22 yeah. carries for 2.5 yards yeah. per carry yeah it's hard to stomach. It's mm -hmm. harder to watch. It, it makes my head hurt. It makes my heart hurt. It scares me going forward right. that all of a sudden, they used to be number two in the league for the right. first seven games. They mm -hmm. were number two in the league in rushing. They have now plummeted to seventh in the league in rushing. Right. And by the way. Which the, isn't bad, no, but it's not what they were. It's why I had to watch seven punts last night. That's a lot of punting right. to do. Mm -hmm. Seven times they could not sustain and score. Right. Well, 
what am I supposed to do with that? And took a pick six late by my defensive tackle, by <laughs> Carlos Watkins on the play you just showed, where it looked like he was the primary receiver. I don't I don't know. I mean, okay. there are a lot of guys, the ball's going to carry him to the ground. But the guy's point blank, and he throws it. He jumps up and snags it out of he the air like it. he was a tight end. It was good. He was. And he rumbled. <laughs> he did. And he stumbled, and he mumbled, and he scored. He did. And, and that was it, man. That sort of capped it off. And yet it still kind of came down to a late onside kick because it looked like the Saints – 